The methodology is the same as the last couple videos. The last video you saw me training with Aldo. I've gone through a few arm days with him. So a lot of these exercises, and especially the way they're performed, are kind of with his mindset, which is kind of how I talked about not, not exploding up with the weight, but from that stretch to the bottom of any exercise, guiding the weight up slowly. And then as you get close to the top, if you start to get fatigued, then you start driving it kind of aggressively, contracting the muscle. And at the top, the peak contraction, whatever that is, you're squeezing as hard as possible, and then controlling the weight back down, feeling the stretch, and then using that same stretch to come back up. So really, that same thing is applied for, for every one of these. So whether curling with the bicep or standing out with the tricep, it's the same principle. So I over each one individually, but I think you guys get the idea. Slow it down. Of course, you gotta drop the weight a little bit. What's going on YouTube? Welcome to this video. In today's video, I just watched a video of uh, Just Merck, and he, he was showing like, this legit video. He was doing like exercises, arms exercises especially. He said, um, slow contraction, um, guide the weight up and slowly get it back down. So I decided to try it out and see what is going to be top of my arms right before, to say, um, for a month, right? I just adopted to my workout and so um, in today's video, we're going to do an arms video, right? But after that, we're going to do our normal cardio assembly, cardio 30 days. So yeah, that still counts. So I just wanted to do this just mark thing and um, explain it to, to you. Um, tell you what I feel about it and what I think about it. Okay, um, before we get started, I'm going to go through some warm ups and uh, yeah. Right up, right up the back. I have a lightweight dumbbell, so I'm going to use it to warm up the muscles. So let's get started. That's it for the warm up section. I'm already feeling pumped in my muscles and my biceps. So, we're gonna start with the bicep, right? Um, so, for this video, I brought um, a bulky. I filled it with water. This is where the water is stopped, right here. So, for us to effectively drive up the weight without just going through the motions, uh, we need like it, I'll use this bucket to demonstrate that and um, if you if you want to do it you've not done it before you you want to try out try the bucket technique first so um, I think if you do in the motions there's a point you get to you just feel like it's easy get out sweet that last rap but if you use a bucket full of water and that last rap you have to be careful so you don't spill the water so Basically, it's just about not spilling the water on your way up or way down. So, we're just gonna get started. Um, we're going to do four sets, four sets of uh, bicep curls, and uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see. We're gonna do it to um, what, what, um, we'll do it to failure on each set, but at least ten on every set, so that we don't get complacent. Okay. So, yeah, let's get started. All right, so we get the ball key, all right? Station it and we get started. Let's go. Woo! 
Minute, minute, minute. Two months ago. Oh. Woo! Damn. Look at how pumped my bicep is. It's round all of a sudden. So pumped. You can see the veins coming out of me. You can see the veins popping out of my arm. Like, it's so realistic. I think just makes idea uh, whatever wherever learned it from i think the idea is very good and i think it's potentially be with a lot of muscle and you keep doing it and slowly progress with the weights and i think that it's going to be a lot of muscle and the bucket makes it a lot harder because i just spilled i just spilled water just here right here i spilled water here and <laughs> i have to wait to let the muscles relax so I can go for another set. I did like 20 reps and it was burning. Like I felt the blood passing through my muscles. It was really burning. I think I'm gonna transition this into other exercises in the future. I think I'm gonna do that in the future. Like transition this particular workout to other exercises. I wonder how it's gonna be. Wonder how is it going to be? All right, sections out. Um, the same amount of weight as last time, and uh, we're going to do it again. We're going to come to the challenge this time. So, just focus on the, so let's focus on the biceps. The squeeze and the stretch. from all over, veins are popping, look at that, oh my god, it's very painful, let's go for the next arm, so 15 now, it's the benchmark, let's go, I just wanted to show you guys, um, wanted to try it out and show you guys, tell you how I feel about it, and uh, yeah, I think this exercise is very important. This is a good exercise. I think that if you feel like you cannot concentrate on the dumbbell, you should try using the bucket. Small example. Well, it's a more easy way to do it if you're actually going to the motions. Although you can't really contract that end because it's in the bucket, right? So like. Is going to help you to the mind you this. I'm like, okay, slowly, don't pull the water away. Look at that. My muscles are so full, it's so round. I feel so big. Off the start, I feel big. I feel big. Whoa. I probably will lose it this year. Oh. Look at that. I'm big. Alright, so let's finish it up, wrap this up. I think this is a better way to do it to be squeezed.
I feel it better, right? I could squeeze better when I was like this because the bucket was no longer, you know, getting in the way. Look at the veins! Look at the veins all over. I am so vain. Oh my god. Look at it. It's a miracle. Like, it's really a miracle. Right? So I try the other hand. I try 13 here. I think it's 14. I don't know. Just do 15. Okay, let's see if you do that up. If you do this with this method, you can easily contract. Although you can use heavy weight. Control your elbow movement. And I think if you do this, if you do it this like this, if you do it this way, you can easily contract better. I feel a lot bone, a lot more bone in here. Even my brachialis is engaged. I feel a little bit tight in my brachialis. Okay. And the veins just popping. It's just popping right everywhere. It's pain now. Show you that this exercise is really a good workout. I think everybody should do this. Just stop the video, just pick up weight, fill up the bucket. You don't need to be in the gym. Do it at home, right? That's the purpose of most of my videos. It's to encourage you to work out even if you can't go to the gym. That's why I showed you with the bucket, right? You just do it at home. Do it anywhere you want to, right? You can basically do it anywhere. As long as you have a bucket around you. Just do a bicep curl with a bucket. You don't have to do a lot of reps because it's mostly focusing on the bicep. It the bicep is a small muscle, you have to be careful when you're walking it. So you do not take your biceps, okay? You have to be very careful. Be careful. This is seven. I think it's, they call it six. These are six. I have seven. Six and seven is all in here. So um, basically what you do is focus on the bicep. You can both see the stand, do the crawl, or you do this particular crawl I'm doing right now. And if you have heavy weight, you can just go smash it. I think I'm going to also put it in my shoulder workout. Maybe probably I'll post it tomorrow. Tomorrow is shoulder day. And then I'll also use it for my back workout. Because I'm going to do quickly once I'm done with this. Just go do some back workout. And uh, yeah. I don't see so from last workout. My calves has been devastated. After doing like the, my leg workout, do the, do the wrong thing. My, my calves, I barely move. I barely move around. Like seriously, so much pain. My calf area. All right, so let's just complete this exercise and the video done. Let's get this video over with. I believe so. Control your elbow movement. We want to bend and do this. Okay, if you want, you can lean against the wall so you can, you know, just bend. Control. Make sure your elbow is not pointing out. Just like this. You use your hands to support it. Be careful, don't spill the water. Oh, mm. Feeling the pain now. Drive it. Oh. I think that's it, 12. Muscles is maxing out. The same thing, use the elbow to support so that you don't point out your elbows and do some other kind of weird thing. Right, so, elbow support.
you see my bicep is increased. My bicep is increased in size. Like, look at that. The vein running all over my arm. Like, vein everywhere. I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely smash subscribe, turn notifications to get more of my videos when I post. I recently have said posting like every day. I don't know if you can keep this up for. Right? Subscribe. Subscribe. Even if you don't like my videos, just subscribe. Share to your friends. Let them see. I don't like these guys' videos. It's so boring. Subscribe. Share. And definitely like the video. Help the algorithm help us out. Get more people that don't like my videos. And thank you, Justin Merck. I'm giving a shout out to Justin Merck. Um, go check out his channel. He posts incredible stuff, right? Yeah. And, and, and this workout was a killer workout. I'm going to definitely put this into my judgment. And uh, I think it's a potential. It has potential for um, a lot of things. Like, yeah. I don't know what he calls it, but I call it the bucket technique. So don't let the water spill, right? See you in the next video. Mad love. Peace out.